Welcome to another composer exercise, where we learn and practice to create an epic percussion groove like this. This video has three steps that you should follow to maximize your results. Learn, apply and share. By sharing your end result on my Discord community Become a Pro Composer, you can also win a cool prize in our giveaway, but more on that in step 3. Today we'll go for a cinematic slash epic orchestral percussion ensemble, but you can apply this concept to any genre or style. Sorry, no excuses to procrastinate. Step 1. Learn. So how can we build a percussion groove that adds energy and a backbone to our productions? With a seemingly infinite amount of different drums, metals, trash cans or other things that you can hit with your hand or with a stick and a brush and I don't know. It can be overwhelming to get started because you simply don't know what to choose in the first place. Here's what you should do. Think in frequencies. And to make it even simpler, think in three frequency spectrums. Low, mid and high. No matter which style, a good percussion beat balances low, middle and high parts of the frequency range. We will add two more spectrums along the way, but for now let's focus on these three. Low frequency in general means a bigger drum and fewer notes. Mid frequency usually means a mid-sized drum and an average amount of notes. And high frequency mostly refers to smaller sized drums or rims, sticks and shakers etc. with a high amount of notes. Let's start with the low percussion. I use a default damage 2 patch here, but any low kick or bass drum will do. We'll add just a few hits that are the foundation of our groove and emphasize the beginning of each bar with a little bit of variation to keep up the interest. I prefer to continue with the high percussion in order to build a sort of framework around the groove that I can then fill with the mids. I want to build an accentuated 16th pulse with the occasional variation towards the end of the 4 and 8th bar. Let's double the high percussion with some tom rims. Let's also layer the low drums with something more punchy, like the Grand Casa Ensemble of Audio Imperius Cerberus for more impact. I humanize the MIDI to slightly randomize the timings and velocities. It helps make it sound more human. I like to use tom ensembles for filling out the mids, but epic music very often also uses taikos, frame drums, dolls, or something like jambas to add additional colors to the percussion. For now I stick with toms. I want to add more rhythm to our groove and fills that catapult us from one phrase into the next. It's super important to keep it interesting and have small variations in the pattern. It's usually best to add these at the end of every 4th or 8th bar or whenever you want the pattern to repeat. Let's layer the toms with taikos. We're doing a great job already at filling the spectrum. Let's add another layer to each of the low, mid and high level to make the drum groove sound bigger. One thing I learned from epic percussion writing is that when you think you're done, you should definitely add more drums on top. If you notice that your frequencies clash with each other, for example if your mid and low toms build up low and rumbling frequencies against the low percussion and it starts to sound muddy, simply cut them out with an EQ. If you're new to EQing, it's fine to keep it super broad. Just apply a high pass filter to your toms until they have less rumble. Because that's what the low percussion is for. Just be careful to not overdo it. They should still sound like toms maybe. We got a great foundation here.
Are you ready to add both depth and sparkle on top? This is where the two extra frequency ranges come into play. In addition to low, mid and high, let's add very low slash sub and very high slash sparkle. Very low can be sound effects like booms, a sub bass or a percussive pulse. They all have the same purpose, adding weight to the low percussion and they should be used sparingly. I'll use a boom every four bars and a very low percussive 16th kick pulse. Very high can be distinctive sounds like cymbals or a triangle, characteristic metals or high-pitched signature sound design elements like glitch effects or noise. I will use a cymbal every four bars, a glitch at the end of bar four and eight, and a quick riser to keep up the energy when going into the repetition. I EQ'd them to get rid of any low and mid frequencies. We can now loop our groove and it sounds like this. My groove was just an example. You can use any time signature and have fun with different rhythms and syncopations. As long as you fill out the frequency spectrum and don't have too many rhythms and frequencies clash against each other, it should sound pretty great. Step two, apply. If you close the video now, not only will you miss the giveaway, but also you're likely to forget what you've just learned. You've got to apply the knowledge. In order to help you, here's your task. Write at least one energetic eight bar percussion pattern that fills up the frequency spectrum with the concept of low, mid and high percussion in mind. Trust me, if you apply this exercise now, your brain will remember the next time you have to deal with percussion and it will save you time and effort. So go open up your DAW, set a time signature and a tempo and write these eight bars. Layer your drums with the same MIDI, maybe humanize it, take care of low, mid and high percussion, add some sub and sparkle if you like, duplicate those eight bars to make it 16 and get it done. Step three, share. Turn your fresh percussion beat into a positive package of social proof, see what the others came up with and win a great prize along the way. Here's how to enter and then I will announce the prize. Subscribe to the YouTube channel so I can scale up the format and organize even more prizes in the future. Then join the Become a Pro Composer Discord community, link is down in the description, and upload your new percussion beat in the writing exercises channel. Keep the file size below 8 megabytes and directly drag and drop it into the channel. WAV file or mp3 is fine, the format doesn't really matter, it's a writing exercise. On the Discord server, you'll see a growing community around improving musical skills, exchanging knowledge and making the most of our composer journeys in a constructive and positive environment. Why don't you introduce yourself there and show us your music? There'll be regular composing exercises and challenges, feedback exchange for your work in progress tracks, DAW tips and composing tricks and we are sensible about the mental health aspect of composers. No matter if you're just starting out or already are a pro composer, come and join. Five days after this video, I will randomly draw the winner and inform them in the Discord channel. Don't forget, this exercise is aimed to get us writing and improve our music. It's a learning experience and I think you should primarily see it as one. But as a little extra motivation, I am happy to announce that among all composers who newly create and submit one energetic full percussion ensemble groove, I will randomly give away one copy of this brand new trailer effect sound library Aftermath by All About Trailer Music. Aftermath features a superb collection of hard-hitting cinematic samples and atmospheres for top-level productions and it spices up your tracks. I want to hear your drums, no matter if you're a beginner or not. And I sincerely hope that this is a fun and helpful experience. See you soon.